from the Boston Museum of Science, SciTech Today on NECN. In SciTech Today, the CEO of a Vermont startup company drinks water right out of the Charles River to prove that nanotechnology can help provide clean water for all of us. Tim Miller joins us now live from the Museum of Science in Boston. And Tim, I understand you were out in the middle of uh, that snowstorm for this demonstration yesterday. I certainly was. Uh, Alan Cummings is the guy's name, and he's the CEO of a small Vermont startup called Selden Technologies. Uh, and he came here to prove to us that uh, this, their new product, the Selden Water Stick, uh, offers a safer and more cost-effective way of purifying water than almost uh, anything else out there on the market. Uh, and actually next to me I have that product's big brother known as the Water Box uh, and it's actually operating as we speak. Uh, it's taking the dirty water from this tank over here to my right, uh, pumping it through the machine and then I, I hope you can see uh, pure, pure clean drinking water coming out here on my left. All right, now while we're looking at all of that, what does this have to do with nanotechnology? Right, so the nanotechnology is really in the purification process. Uh, standard uh, water purification systems use a chemical process, usually either chlorine or iodine, uh, and that leaves a strange taste residue in the water. There's another process called reverse osmosis, which uses a very fine mesh, uh, but that requires very high pressure to pump the water through. Uh, so the Selden technologies instead uh, use what we call a carbon nanotube mesh filter, uh, and I think we have a picture of uh, the insides of one of these filters underneath the microscope. Uh, what this filter does is uses some of these carbon nanotubes uh, in an interconnected form that allows us to uh, pump the water through at a relatively low pressure so you can pump a lot of water through it. But because of the very high surface area of the nanotubes, uh, it allows them to attract impurities uh, and other types of bacteria or viruses that might be in the water. And as we look back at the experiment, uh, you can see, I think, the water being pulled out of the dirty tank uh, and then ending up clean in the tank over here on the other side. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Good enough for you to take a drink? <laughs> well, it, it's strictly in the name of science, Chet. I will give that a shot. All right. Now, what's it like? Ah, delicious. Okay. Uh, one of the great things about the system is that obviously it doesn't leave any uh, odor or uh, taste residue in the water. And it's also able to remove not just bacteria, which are a major cause of disease, but viruses, which are much, much smaller than bacteria and harder to clean out of water. Well, that's interesting. I understand that NASA hopes to take this process a little further. Yeah, the technology was originally uh, developed by NASA. I think we also have a photograph of astronaut Stephanie Wilson using one of these prototypes on the space shuttle. And the goal here was to develop a system for long-term space travel. If you wanted to send people, say, to the moon or to Mars, water's really heavy. So you'd need to be able to recycle or refilter the wastewater on the spacecraft so that it can be used again and again. But it's being applied now to purposes here on Earth. In fact, Selden has taken a couple of these prototype devices uh, to Rwanda, uh, where they're testing them down there. Uh, and they've shown that just one of these water box units is able to provide enough water for an entire village. You think nanotechnology for water purification is something we're going to see in the very near future? I, I think it's one of a host of technologies that you're going to see uh, coming out very soon, yes. Concern for the scarcity of water is likely to be one of the biggest problems of the 21st century. Waterborne pathogens are already the world's number one killer, and we think that global climate change is likely to make those shortages worth, uh, worse. Excuse me. So this is just one example of a local company trying to make a small dent uh, in a big problem. And that, I think, is the take-home message about nanotechnology. Uh, it's about exploiting the very small-scale behavior of materials, in this case, the surface area of carbon nanotubes, to try and tackle some of the world's big problems. Very well. You can find out more about the water stick and the water box online at www.seldentech.com. Tim Miller, thanks for joining us on SciTech Today, Thank live you. from the Museum of Science.